Okay guys, so today I'm doing a daily vlog, which is something I'm not going to make a habit of doing because I have a really massive camera which is really heavy, not good for vlogging, and ideally I like to set up my camera on a tripod rather than freestyle hand, ha handle it? I don't know. Anyway, it's very early in the morning and the first thing I do is check out all the geckos at the or asleep. Most of the time the crested geckos are in their coconuts asleep and the leopard geckos are on their heat mat. Next up I'm just going to do the rounds and give everyone a bit of lettuce. I'm not talking about the geckos, talking about all the smaller mammals. Um, I'm currently looking after two house rabbits as well. So here's the first rabbit, my sister's rabbit. I mean, she's cute and all, but I'm pretty sure she's the Antichrist. I think we need to get some holy water and like a Catholic priest over here because this rabbit is crazy. Like, look at her, she's really, really cute. Crazy. Absolutely bonkers. Um, so obviously being a house rabbit, she likes to be out a lot. Also, yesterday when I had her out, she just kept biting my knees. Like, you'd think every time you tell her no and then, like, pick her up and put her, like, move her away from you, you think she stopped? No, she just kept running back at me. What is going on? I, I didn't even have time to focus this. Here's a guinea pig. Take a leaf each. There you go. D do not nick that off the You have your own. You put it in your house. Okay, now for my favourite house rabbit that I'm looking after. Arthur. Pretty much, I can just let him... Really? Pretty much I can just let him roam free. Um, he is cornered off because obviously I have a cat. So he pretty much gets half the house <laughs> while she's out all day. But um, I'm just going to go and get myself some breakfast now. He's got a carrot, bit of lettuce as well. By the way, I'm not going to film every single thing I do today because the video will be too long. So in case people are like, oh, you haven't fed the other rabbit enough. And so it's okay, I will. <laughs> I will. I just cannot be bothered to film it because this video will be too long. Um, a lot of people have been asking me to do Pokemon Go. Um, I can't carry around a DSLR and try to Pokemon Go. All I will say is a drowsy lives in this house and it constantly wants to be caught. But I have so many, I don't want it. So it just like lives in my house. Anyway, I was going to quickly show you this because um, recently, anytime I go out for a Poke Walk just around my neighbourhood, literally can't catch anything until randomly one thing will pop up. So... Arthur! Oh my goodness, he's come out of the sofa now. So, for example, I've got two Porygons. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Literally just around my neighbourhood. Uh, I've got a Sea King, um, a Dugong. I also got a Jinx yesterday, I don't know how rare that is. And also, I got a Blastoise. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know that. Uh, not the highest CP, but I got it in the dentist, so that's not bad. Um, so yeah, that's sort of my Pokemon at the moment. I don't know if I'll go out for a walk today. I've got a few things to do, but that's that. What are you doing? That's a magazine rack. Oh my goodness. Right, so now I am cleaning out Arthur's litter tray. So it's all good because he's litter trained, but it stinks. So I've just cleaned it all out. Just put this in. Just before anyone freaks out, this is just recycled paper bits. It's not anything bad. And then, oh dear me, I'm going to have to hoover in here afterwards. Oh, and just to confirm again, these aren't my rabbits. I'm just looking after them. Uh, Penelope I only have for a week and then Arthur I'm, I have for seven or eight weeks. He's already been here like a month I think. Also just as a quick little message to people, um, I was going to do a whole video on this once because I was really frustrated but I'll just quickly tell you here. This is a search bar that you search for stuff in when you want to know the answer to a question. The amount of people who ask me like for example um, why isn't my gecko eating? If you write in, why isn't my gecko eating? 
you get the first video's 20 reasons why a leopard gecko isn't eating. You know, it's it's not that difficult. There's also encouraging a leopard gecko to eat. If you want to know something about heat map, for example, type in heat map. And there's like a load of stuff on it. So just be aware that you don't have to ask me every single question. I've probably done a video on it. I just realised I haven't been outside. Here's some plants. Yes, very nice. More plants. Oh god, it's a cat. Come here. Come on, lay down. Lay down. <laughs> We're too zoomed in. And here's Ruby asleep. I think I just woke her up. Hello, Ruby. Oh, hey. You're right. I forgot I left the pasta on. Is it half two a normal time to cook pasta? I don't know. I kind of fancied it though. So it's a little bit later and I'm going to be feeding Arthur half of his pellets. I tend to break it up because he goes crazy for his pellets, so I like to give him a few at a time. Let's put just a few in. Arthur! He usually goes crazy, but he's distracted by the tripod. <laughs> there you go. So, so at six o'clock, the lights turn off. Um, everything's on a timer, so this should go off very soon because Lyra's has gone off and hers is usually... There you go. <laughs> and as you can see down here, Gizmos is on. It usually comes on 5 till 7 in the evening and it comes on really early in the morning. I often miss it actually. So she's just sleeping there. So this is a big pressure sprayer that I got for the Cresta geckos. They definitely get so much more water, like all the plants get so much more with this. It takes half the time and um, I'm not going to spray them yet because the lights have just gone off. It's still not that dark so they're probably not going to move around that much. I'll probably come back in like maybe an hour because I need to have tea and I need to feed everything else. So Penelope's out, um, she's decided to go to loo everywhere, as soon as she came out, she sprayed pee everywhere as well, this rabbit is a menace. Now it's time to give her her muesli, I don't really like muesli, my sister brought it, I was like uh uh, no they get picky, she has been picky, she literally is leaving all of her pellets, she'll eat all the little colourful bits, eat the pellets, so this morning I didn't give her any new. And she had to eat the pellets. So as you can see, that's a lot more she's eaten now. I don't give in to <laughs> animals that easily. You need to eat your food. So let's give her some of this. You want some of this? You want some of this? And now for the fun part of the day where I have to cut up so much salad and vegetables for these animals. Uh, usually it's quite a lot with the guinea pigs anyway, but now with two extra rabbits, there's a lot. pieces that I use um, I don't want to waste them so what I end up doing is just putting them in with the live food like the mealworms and crickets and that okay so it's about half seven now and I'm just gonna spray down the tanks with um, the crested geckos lately I've been using bottled water nothing fancy just the uh, co-op zone uh, just to see whether it works better with some of the plants I do feel like I can water them a lot more and not worry that they're gonna get damaged by the water but the only thing is it does stay on the glass a lot longer than tap water, which is good, but it does stain it a lot worse. There's a Lyra just emerging from her coconut. It's always around this time she does, that's why I never spray the tank before. Okay, so Zig wants to come out now. So, this time of night, the geckos start to like scratch 
the glass to come out so I usually get one out at a time sometimes I get two out in the evening so two, one day there's two geckos next day it's the other two you know like that um this is why like I know it's really tempting when you're young to keep getting more and more geckos more and more lizards whatever it is because a lot of people have them like their collections but when you get a bit older and you have lots of things to do you end up having it it ends up being a bit of a struggle to get each one out all the time and that's why when everyone always goes to me you should get another pet you should get another pet so many people it's really worrying actually so many people have messaged me and said you should get a bearded dragon because you'll get more views I, I don't have my pets for views <laughs> like I don't just buy a pet just for the views um, and bearded dragons are just not my thing but just be aware when you're buying all these when you're young and everything's easy you just go to school and everything just be aware that these live for a long time and you don't want to have pets that just spend all their life in a box when um, they should be able to come out and exercise each day so just keep that in mind take that message uh, from this video if anything but thank you very much for watching this vlog hope you've enjoyed it and goodbye